Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to No Tutorials. In the last tutorial, we um, went through the package.json file. In this video, we'll go through a REST API and we'll create our own REST API. Um, so let's get started. <laughs> um, this tutorial does require you guys to have knowledge about what a REST API is, what HTTP basic basics of HTTP, and basics of JSON, which is Internet Communication thing. So if you guys um, so just open up a browser, new tab, and just check that out on Wikipedia or something. So um, just type Wikipedia and then JSON, and then it will give you that. And then just replace JSON with HTTP, and then it will give you that. And then replace HTTP with um, REST, RESTful web services, and then just go that, go to that. So just basically just do a quick refresh on what they are um, and then unpause the video right so back to the video <laughs> uh, for those who checked those things out um, in case you didn't then good for you let's continue <laughs> um, what we've uh, the thing about a node project is it's got a, a, a roots folder and that root fold, roots folder has roots in it um, so in this case we've got two files and they, those each each of them define a root um, and they're tied to a app.js file. So app.js is here saying that I want to load my roots from root index. Uh, so if you go to the index.js, it does an export of router variable. Um, and we're uh, we're mutating, so we're changing the router variable here. We're saying router.get, and then we're assigning things to it, and then we're exporting that changed router. Um, and then app.js takes that and maps those roots well, assigns that router object to the root, root variable. And then if you go down here, it has uh, on line 25 app.use slash and then roots. And then basically it just maps all the roots that you've defined in there um, to uh, re relative to this uh, path here. So if that path said happy bunny, then everything in here will be happy bunny slash whatever they put here. Um, so that's the fundamental thing of how nodes how node ties things together. Um, in this tutorial, we'll create our own root in the index.js. So we'll so we won't be creating a new one uh, yet, but we'll uh, just define a new one, a new root here, yeah, not a new root file, but new root within an existing root file. So uh, t in order to create a root, what you need is the router object. So router, um, and in case you guys are wondering, it's defined here, and we're instantiating it from scratch here. So Everything before that is a blank router, and then we fill that router with different mappings, and then we export that router, essentially. Um, yeah. So if so, the the reason I'm trying to explain that is because if you, yours is named like router A or something, uh, then you have to change that here and everywhere else wherever you are referring router. So uh, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, but in this case, let's just continue with that. So what we'll do is we'll say router dot get. And then we'll, um, because it's our first API, we'll keep it very simple, and we'll say that our first API is going to be health check API. And the functionality that we'll provide is health check of our server. So in, in case someone has any doubts of our server, they can call this health check API and find out if our server is is running or not, or you know whatever. Um, so this health check API will um, need to have a URL to it. So we'll say health check health check yeah um, and uh, this thing uh, signifies the HTTP, HTTP method that we want to they want the the user to allow to call on that URL so uh, because we're saying get then only get get method can be executed on health check uh, if if after this if I define another one with the same URL but with different uh, protocols so like something like you know uh, so sorry not protocol different method like you know post or put or delete then it will work f fine as well. So um, as long as I don't define them twice, it's fine. Um, and what we'll say is, whenever um, uh, on my router, whenever get is uh, executed on this URL, I want you to call the function that I will define here. And to the function that I define, I want to give, I want you to give me two variables uh, in the order of request and response. Uh, and then I will use those two variables in my um, logic code that I define inside here. Um, the order is important. Um, since you guys know JavaScript, you should probably know 
uh, this as well that the order is important so the first one is always request and second is response but the uh, but what I call them doesn't really matter so I can call this this and it will make no difference um, as long as I refer to this as my request object everywhere else which will be quite difficult I guess so um, let's not do that <laughs> um, we've, so we've got two objects request and response um, in the logic code because we want to keep it simple let's first define our response so let's just say something like you know create a new variable called uh, response string and say my response string is okay so this is what we're going to respond with and then let's send that response so here we're going to use the response object and um, just to give you a quick overview of request and response objects the request object contains all the request um, data so data that's incoming from the client like uh, request body request headers request uh, parameters that kind of stuff um, cookies I guess as well um, and the response object allows us to send a response back to the client it it has functions which we can call and execute to uh, send data back to the client which is pretty cool um, so um, now here if we say I want to send this back to the client obviously that means we're going to have to use the response object so if we do res dot send uh, so obviously I'm going to uh, command my res object to send um, and to send this data which is contained in my response string variable and that's it so what we're doing here is we're defining a new router mapping and we're saying whenever get HTTP method is called on slash health check URL please call my function um, and pass it two objects in the order of request and response and then I will define a string containing the text OK and then I will tell my response object to send the data contained in my response string variable that's it so save that go to the command line um, npm start and if you go here and just go to localhost uh, 3000 health check boom so now we have ok response exactly the same as what we define here uh, now let's change this a bit now you know previously I said you need to know JSON this is the bit that you need to know JSON um, for instead of returning a plain text string which is um, quite ambiguous and not very great um, the standard method of, to communicate over the internet uh, between different systems is um, a communication language like JSON or XML or whatever you want to use as long as it is agreed by two parties uh, so by the client and the server so the, client, so the server must say that I can support these, these different response types and then the client can say okay I only support this type or I prefer this type and then based on that they will kind of figure it out but um, the standard that I've been using since a lot, of, um, since a lot, of, um, I guess, time, since a lot of years, um, since a few last years, is JSON. It's becoming very popular. It's um, almost replacing XML now. Uh, although some legacy systems still use XML, all of the new ones use JSON, and they also kind of support XML. But the preferred route is JSON because of how compact it is and how simple it is, and how much you can do in so, so little space and that kind of stuff. Um, so instead of returning a string here, we'll return a JSON object. Now in JavaScript, because JavaScript is an awesome language, um, an object in JavaScript uh, can be stringified uh, into JSON quite easily because they both look pretty much the same. So in the previous uh, router, this thing is a JSON object. Well, it's a JavaScript object, but JSON is JavaScript object notation. So it's in the same kind of notation type, but JSON is a string well JavaScript object is a logical object um, so every JSON object begins with a curly bracket and with a curly bracket uh, like that one um, has a, a property one or more properties with assigned values um, or arrays or other objects um, but to keep things simple here we'll just say that and we'll just say my, um, my object is going to have a key called message and the value to that key is going to be okay like literally OK string is going to be the value of that key, of that key. and um, then because it's not a string anymore I will um, change that to object you don't have to but for readability and maintainability um, 
perspectives it's useful to do that change. Um, and basically I'm saying that my response object is this uh, logical object in JavaScript and I want to send that logical object back and what um, Express will do or uh, the, uh, yeah, what, what, what the framework will do is it will, it will basically translate this to a uh, it will flatten it out so it will basically create a string out of it and it will return the string. Uh, so once we save this uh, go back here, read run the uh, thing and to refresh this we will have a JSON object back. So woohoo! We've done it! Um, so I think that's it guys for this tutorial. Um, we have achieved our goal which is to write our very first RESTful um, API and we have. We have got our health spec API which returns a string back every time you invoke it every time you do a get request on it like it's that's cool that's cool guys um, cheers all enjoy yourselves uh, thank you very much for your time in the next tutorial we'll do a bit more than that so um, take care of yourself bye